what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll show you how to use external fonts inside Android Studio. So to show you how this is done I have already created an application by the name of custom fonts and inside this custom font application I'll first drag two components that is a text view and a button. Now I'll give this button some proper name so I'll write Click me and for the text I'll give this a name of I'm a text. I'll basically increase the font size of both of them so they could be easily visible. Now after increasing the font size next I'll go to the main activity.java where I'll declare the text view and the button. Now the button text is in red so I'll click on it and I'll press alt enter. Next, I'll link the text view and button data types in Java with the respective IDs in XML. So I'll write down Now, if you want to use external fonts inside your application, you first need to place these fonts inside a folder by the name of assets. By default, if you look at the folder directory over here, the asset folder is not present inside this directory. So we'll first need to create it. Now for creating it, I'll right click on the apps folder. Then I'll go to new. After that, I'll go inside the folder options and then I'll choose the assets folder. After clicking over here, I'll click on the change folder location. Next, you can see over here, this is the place where the asset folder will be created. SRC slash main slash assets. And after the asset slash, I'll just type in a folder name fonts. Okay because in the fonts folder I'll be storing the font files. I'll hit finish. I'll again open the apps folder and this time you can see inside the app folder I have a new folder by the name of assets and inside the assets folder I have one more folder by the name of fonts. So guys whatever font you want to use inside the app you can basically put inside the fonts folder. I have basically saved two fonts on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and copy them inside the fonts folder. Now I have these two fonts saved on my desktop. So I'll right click, copy and I'll paste them inside the fonts folder. Next to use this fonts inside this main activity.java, I need to create one more data type by the name of typeface. And since I'll be setting the font for my text view and the button, I'll have two variables. TFC1 I'll use for text view and TFC2 I'll use for the button. Next, below the CLK variable, I'll type down TFC1 equal to typeface. Okay, so you can see over here, I'm getting a command typeface dot create from asset. So I'll choose this option. Now inside this round bracket, I'll first type in get assets. Then after the comma, I'll put the path where the font is there. And since this path is in the form of a string, I'll write this in double quotes. So inside the double quotes, I'll write the folder name that is fonts. Then I'll put a slash and I'll use the first font Aladdin regular dot TTF. So you have to copy the file name as it is. Okay, so I've copied it fonts slash Aladdin regular dot TTF. Next, I'll put a semicolon. Now, this font file is basically stored inside the TFC1 variable. Next, I'll be linking this TFC1 variable with this text variable so that the text can take this font over here. So, on the next line, I'll write down text dot. I'll choose this option of set typeface and inside the set typeface, I will put the variable which contains the necessary font. So inside this typeface, I'll type in TFC1 because the TFC1 variable contains the other than regular font which I want. Now, once I've set one font for the text view, similarly, I'll set the other font for my button. Now, once I've stored the font name inside the TFC2, typeface variable. I link this variable with the CLK variable which stands for my button. So I'll write down CLK dot 
set typeface and inside this i am write down tfc2 so guys i have basically set custom fonts for both my text view and the button now let's check whether the changes are been showing in the activity window decimal or not so if i go in the design tab you can see there is no apparent changes happening inside the application now the changes will be visible when you run the application inside the emulator or inside the phone so i'll start a new emulator Once the emulator is completely loaded, I'll click on the play button and check the output. Now guys, as you can see over here, after running the application inside my emulator, the text view and the button both have custom fonts. This font is the Aladdin regular and this one is the Amaranth font. I hope you guys remember in the previous videos, we have created a simple login app and I've basically gone ahead and changed the text of that application as well. So guys, as you can see, this is a simple login app which we have created in the previous videos. For the text view, I have used the Aladdin regular text and for the button, I have used the Amaranth font. Okay, by mistakenly, I have clicked on the login button. So as I was saying, this is the Aladdin font for the text view and the Amaranth font for the button. So I hope you guys would have understood how to add fonts inside Android Studio. Now I'll just end this video over here. In the meantime, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next video where we'll create some more amazing apps.